All dogs have a tale to tell You can't always hear them, but they wag the tails Hi, my name is Liz and I'd like to introduce you to Jordan. Jordan was uh, my first dog and growing up I always had cats and I was always a little afraid of dogs but um, my husband insisted that we should get a dog and he had a dog growing up and he wanted to have a dog. So I remember him saying, I want a Weimaraner. I'm like, what's a Weimaraner? I've never seen a Weimaraner. I remember seeing him saying, they look kind of funny. They're all, you know, they got really short hair, these long fluffy ears. But um, I went, we went to a dog show and uh, we met someone who had a couple Weimaraners and I fell in love with them. We got them out in Western Mass from a a breeder out there and we were actually at the time we were dog sitting for my sister-in-law's two golden retrievers and we said you know we think we're ready for a dog so we went out to Western Mass um, to the breeders to take a look at the dogs and the way we picked Jordan was all these wacky Weimaraners were running around the room and we looked at this one dog and my husband Matt picked him up and I was talking to him and he licked me on the nose and that's when I knew he was going to be our dog. He was the funniest look looking puppy. He, he, it was almost like he hadn't grown into his ears and his paws yet and he was just he was just so cute and all wrinkly. He looked like a grumpy old man. We used to call him our grumpy old man and he just uh, he's been a pleasure. He's just such a wonderful dog. He's so devoted to us. He he loves his people. He, he wants to be with you all the time. If I'm going to the grocery store he's right there standing by the car wanting to come in and do all the errands with me. Um, he just wants to be outside with the kids, playing with the kids. If we're outside, he wants to be outside with us. Uh, he's just really been a, a, such an integral part of our family. Jordan is your typical wacky Weimaraner. He's um, very energetic and even though he's 12 now he still gets around and still wants to play. At night he wants to play ball with his dad. He'll chase the ball as much as his dad will throw it for him. He's a very uh, kind dog. He doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He's um, always been very friendly and uh, lets kids come up to him and, and touch him. He usually will kind of ignore you because he's always on his own agenda, but for the most part he's a very friendly, very, very uh, full of energy dog and um, just a sweet dog overall. One of Jordan's talents is he loves to chase rocks and what we'll do is we'll take a rock and we'll pick it up and we'll throw it into the woods and he'll go and find that exact rock and he will look and look and look until he finds that rock. Um, so he's very persistent in finding that one particular rock. I always know when uh, Jordan's dad, my husband, is coming home from work because all of a sudden I hear Jordan howling and barking and running around the dining room table and that's always an indication that daddy's coming up the driveway and he's very excited to see him. One of the things Jordan really loves is the water. He, whenever we're around the water, he loves to be in it. In fact, it's hard to get him out of the water. Um, a couple things he likes about the water is if we go to the beach and it's a day where there's a lot of waves, he'll actually go into the water and body surf into the waves and ride the waves in, um, with my husband. And, and people are always commenting on how funny it is. Another thing is he absolutely loves fishing with his dad. And he gets so excited, he shakes, his whole body shakes, and he'll stand in the water looking for where the, uh, the fish is going to come out of the water and he just stands there intently and if we catch a fish and we start reeling it in he snaps at the fish as if he's trying to catch it as almost as if it's my dinner's here my dinner's here so he, he just absolutely loves to fish and um, it, he's so excited you can see his whole body shaking. He's very low maintenance because he has such short fur it you don't really see it. it's gray it kind of blends in with everything and he dries instantly so if he gets wet he, he dries very quickly you don't have to worry about a wet dog in your house or even if he gets muddy he dries and the mud just falls off his coat it doesn't really cling to the coat so he's um, he's easy to take care of it's just cutting his nails cleaning his ears the big floppy ears do get dirty and um, 
you know, just watching out for ticks and stuff. With the short hair, you see the ticks, so it's it's good to to um, to have that. He really has been a great addition to our family, and um, you know, we love him to death. We love the breed. We will always have a Weimar, and I think um, it's it's just. Um, something that we've we've talked about that when uh, the time comes we would definitely get another Weimaraner.